Welcome Midnight Habit! Welcome sa pinakabagong pakaaabangan at pag-uusapan! You are watching Midnight Habit with Robert. With Good Robert. evening! San mong lugar kayo naroon? Ano mang oras nyo napapanood o napapakinggan ang first episode natin ngayon? Sa mga hindi pa makatulog dyan, sa mga ngayon pa lang magsisimula ng kanilang araw, o sa mga malapit ng mamahinga, samahan niyo po muna ako sa umigit kumulang kalahating oras ng pagtalakay sa mga bagay-bagay na may kinalaman sa buhay-buhay. Tungkol man ito sa inyong sarili o anumang plano bilang paghahanda sa inyong kinabukasan. Together, let's deal with life and share the good vibes. Sana gawin yung habit ang panonood sa inyong abang lingkod. Live po tayo every Tuesdays and Thursdays on FB. Ang bawat episode ay nasa aking official YouTube channel Robert Rubio One or sa aking official Facebook page partner St. Peter Anywhere. Hope you'll make it a habit to always check our latest uploads. And speaking of habit, ano-ano bang habit ang na-develop nyo nung nag-start? Ang lockdown sa quarantine. Is it a good habit or a bad habit? We have the pandemic and quarantines for more or less 17 months and counting. And from the habits you have developed during this time, did you ask yourself if you have changed? Do you like what you are doing right now? Whatever. Does it make you a better person? I love it! If you have developed a good habit that made you a year older and wiser, good for you and carry on with that. Otherwise, consider this your wake-up call. Awkward. Kung more on the negative side ang sagot mo, then try to work out where you are right now in your life. Make a decision kung ano ba talaga ang gusto mong marating. I mean, where you wanna be? Start to open up new ways of thinking, plan, and take action to better help you with the push you need and turn away from the bad habit or habits. Let me share with you these three simple habits that can make you a better person. Yon overlay. Okay, moving to the first one. It says. Be grateful for at least one thing every day. Natry mo na ba to? Na maging grateful kahit sa small things. Actually, no matter what's the size of it, it does not matter. Be appreciative of your surroundings. Notice even the small things that can make your heart merry and cheerful. For example, when you enter a restaurant or a sale shop or perhaps a bank and you think you've got more than the service you expect naturally you appreciate them so take this opportunity to be grateful call the customer service email the company to appreciate their exerted effort and how they made you feel grateful and things like that so if you want you can make a list of everything you have appreciated Ipunin mo until it turns into a journal. Then, dedicate a moment to reflect on those happy moments and the time of the day and make it your everyday habit. A Proverbs from the Bible says, A merry heart does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. Kaya nga may choice ka between merry heart or dried bones. A clinical psychology study suggests that there are many benefits from practicing gratitude, cheerfulness, and being happy. And these benefits include stress relief, improved sleep, and better social relationships. If you want to enjoy these benefits, then start a habit to be grateful for at least one thing every day. Moving to number two habit is practice self-care. Yeah. Taking care of your body is more than just pampering yourself. 
It's also about making sure that your body and brain have enough energy and are healthy to make it past the day. Especially at this time we are in. Take a break when you need to rest. Do not over exhaust yourself. Know your limitation. And when you're at work or school and did your best for the day and when you are at home and just finish all your tasks. Pag natapos mo na lahat yung gawain mo, find some time to indulge in your hobby or mag time ka within that same day. Make sure you pamper yourself. You make yourself feel good and do good and you have to remember you deserve self-care. Number three, do kind things to people. Tell me how does it make you feel every time you get compliments or when someone hands you a gift. This can bring you happiness, perhaps. Pero the other party, anong nararamdaman nun? What do you think does the other party feels when they g- gave you these compliments or they hand you these gifts? There's a study done at OTEC which shows that happy people become more kind and helpful by doing kind acts for others even if there's no actual incentive to do so. Actually, by, by watching palang say a viral video on social media about good deeds done by others, you'll notice a shift in your mood making you feel lighter about life and you feel like hope abounds. I remember a Bible passage that says, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good work. So parang pag nakapanood ka ng gumagawa ng mabuti, meron sa konsensya mo na nagpo-provoke sa'yo o parang bumubulong sa'yo na you also want to do similar acts. To do good as well sa kapwa mo kahit walang kapalit. And if you act on that conscience, you will have that feeling of contentment in you for making others feel happy. I love it! Okay, and there you go. So do you think these habits can turn you into a better person? Will you try at least one of these habits? If yes, para hindi ningas kugon, just keep yourself accountable. How you do it depends on how you set your goals. Just remember, great things start from small beginnings. And when you're on track, don't forget to reward yourself from time to time. With all the effort you put into improving yourself, you definitely deserve it. Okay, if you have other habits you know can help others be the better version of themselves, then let us know in the comment section below and share the good vibes here on Midnight Habit. Okay, time check. You are watching Midnight Habit with Robert. With Robert. With Robert. This segment is about psychological quiz game of self-discovery called Cocology where you are asked to answer questions about seemingly innocent topics and then reveals what your answers say about you. If you're confident enough to take the test, then get ready. Here are the game reminders when playing this. The first one is... You have to imagine yourself inside the unusual scenario and just say the first thing that pops into your head. Do not try to predict the answer and in all cases you have to be honest. Have an open mind. Your answer will be interpreted from a psychological perspective. Your chosen reaction will say something about how your mind works. Okay, always keep these rules in mind and be amazed with the result. Okay, let's reveal the content for today. Caught in the rain. Not everything in life is predictable. 
We're always getting hit by surprises, emergencies, and unforeseen disasters. Without any chance to prepare ourselves mentally, surprises of any kind can be stressful. An unexpected proposal just as much as a sudden breakup. There are too many things we cannot predict or control. That's one of the reasons we all tend to develop habits and patterns to live by. This is our scenario for today. You are walking outside when a hard rain suddenly begins to fall. And even if you run full speed, you're still about 5 minutes from your destination. Which of the following best describes your choice of action? So, na naabutan ka ng malakas na ulan at kahit magmadali ka pa, ikaw ay limang minutong malayo pa rin sa patutunguhan mo. So, given the life choice, which of the following best describe your choice of action? Okay, here are your life choices. Number one. I'd find an awning or tree to stand under and wait for the rain to stop. Life choice number two. I don't know how long it's going to keep raining, so I'd run to where I'm going as fast as I could. Life choice number three. I'd see if there was anybody around with an umbrella I could share or a store where I could buy one. And life choice number four, I always have an umbrella in my bag when I go out so I'd use that instead. Don't forget to put in comments your answer down below. Discover what your today's life choice says about you. Stay tuned for the test result in just a while. Time check. You are watching Midnight Habit with Robert. With Robert. With Robert. I understand we all have different beliefs about this sensitive topic. Influences may come from a variety of sources, say our environment, our family, or how it was introduced to you by instance. But no matter how complex this is, it's inevitable. As mortals, we are appointed to, one, to that one day when we cease to breathe and stop to live. Here on Earth, there is what we call beginning, and there is always this last part we call ending. It may come in different state, but one thing is for sure. Death is a significant part of life. While it may be uneasy to touch this topic, having conversation like this can help you and others prepare emotionally when that unwanted event comes. Dealing with it is very difficult. How much more if you're unready or left unaware? So I suggest you come to think about life preparedness and open up a bit. No one knows when is when. It has no fixed date. It cannot be postponed. And if you're talking about financials, the cost of handling it is almost immediately demandable when left unplanned. You don't want your loved ones left to deal with debt and unexpected expenses at this emotional time. Or do you? I'd give you a scenario. Of a family happened some years ago in Manila. So try mo lang ilagay yung sarili mo sa sitwasyon na ito. So si nanay, si kuya, si ate, si bunso, kasama si lola sa bahay. Si kuya ang breadwinner na may monthly salary na 25k sa isang table company. And has been there for almost 4 years na. So, i-roleplay natin si Kuya. So, kayo si Kuya. Si nanay may maliit na sari-sari store. Si ate graduating na sa high school. Si Bunso has a long way to go. So, ulila na sila sa tatay six years ago. 
Sino sa tingin nyo ang overall in charge sa pamilya? Sino ang stable? Sino ang nagpapaaral? Ang nagsusupply ng laman ng mini sari-sari store. If your assessment ay si kuya, then tama kay dyan. Kasha naman yung 25k na sahod? Siguro kasha naman. May sideline naman si mother. Enough enough lang to live their daily lives. Then this one day comes na bound to happen pero hindi inaasahan too soon. Namatay si Lola. Sino ang sa tingin nyo nagkagastos? Mahal na mahal nila syempre si Lola and they wanted to give her a decent burial. So nag-scout si Kuya ng mga funerals. Punta sa siya funeraria oro. So after scouting knowing that the cost is 65,000 perhaps that's too expensive so nagpunta pa siya sa mas maliit naman na puneraria ang puneraria dayaw so 60k mas mababa ng konti from puneraria oro oro hoping for a better price scout pa uli so again nagpunta pa siya sa isa pang puneraria puneraria pass naman which give him an estimate of 85,000. So mahal na ang costing kasi at need na. So looking from his savings, kaya kaya ng budget. Pero kung hindi kaya ng budget, pwede bang i-delay ang pagpapalibing? Ano sa tingin mo ang gagawin nila? Well, debt is an emergency that you have to attend to at hindi pwedeng i-delay. E eh, paano kung hindi si kuya yung tipo na may agad-agad na maipang outright cash? Paano na? At kung ikaw, si kuya, ano ang gagawin mo? The good news is there's something that could help you stay in control at times like this. I found a multifunctional life plan that can let you remain in control at times like this. It is flexible with great BAB such as cash assistance and value-added benefits on top of the complete memorial services guaranteed by St. Peter Chapels all over the country. These life plans are the most competitive in the market today with premiums as low as $825 per month. I say there are 50 years of expertise and experience in providing world-class debt care services. The Filipino people have made these thousands of satisfied plan holders nationwide like these guys. You may be asking how flexible this life plan is. Flexibility made St. Peter Life Plan the best deal amongst life plan. Contract price can be spread out through affordable installment. It has this transferability option which allows the plan holder to transfer the plan to anyone alive and kicking by way of gift or donation or for any other reason. It also has the assignability option which allows the plan holder to assign the plan to anyone who needs the memorial service and by anyone it could mean anybody who just passed away. Siguraduin mo lang napatay na ang pag-aassignan. That's flexibility. Kanino pwede i-assign? Any other person, say a relative, a friend, a colleague, or if you want, even your enemy. Now, going back to our scenario, let's say na porsin na ni Kuya na siya ang may responsibility sa family since nawala si tatay. At pagka-work na pagka-work niya, kumuha agad siya ng life plan monthly which is 5 years to pay. Sinama na niya as part of their monthly expenses. Kung may 4 years na siyang nagtatrabaho, 12 months na lang ang bubunuin niya sa life plan. If ang life plan is 825 monthly, the family's outright expense would only be 9,900 as against 65,000. Not to mention na hindi na sila mag effort to scout for funeral and complete package na. Nandun na yun lahat. Would you agree with me if I say it is wise to plan for events that is bound to happen? And would you also agree that it is wiser if you plan and take action? If you are ready to take a step higher with your plan and action, 
Let's talk about life awareness, living benefits, and great opportunities. Let's talk about your life plan. Do you have quick questions about St. Peter Life Plans? Let us know in the comment section and get straight answers from our Life Plan Specialist. Or join our weekly online briefing. Just contact the number shown on your screen to know all the available schedule. Time check. You are watching Midnight Habit with Robert. With Robert. With Robert. Okay, going back to today's Incocology, let's see our best result. Okay, question recap. You are walking outside when a hard rain suddenly begins to fall. Even if you're running full speed, you're still about 5 minutes from your destination. Which of the following best describes your choice of action? How did you respond to the sudden downpour? The rainstorm represents unperceivable and uncontrollable forces in life. Things we cannot just predict or control like that. If you are worried about life's sudden changes, plan ahead with St. Peter Life Plan. With a variety of options to choose from, geared up with BAB that lets you be prepared and remain in control even after that. If you want to know more, to switch the numbers shown below. And now, let's interpret your life choice. The given scenario pertains to a fight breakout between you and someone close to you. May it be your loved one or friend or relative or anybody dear to you. And your choice reveals how you tend to react to this situation. If you have chosen, I'd find an awning or tree to stand under and wait for the rain to stop. Personality revealed, you are the type who waits for the other side in the fight to pull off before trying to settle their differences. You prefer to let them run and wave until they run out of steam. Then present your case calmly and objectively. Some would say this is the intelligent approach but others would say it's just sneaky. If you have chosen, I don't know how long it's going to keep raining, so I'd run to where I'm going as fast as I could. Personality revealed. You don't care about the end result of the fight so much as getting to speak your mind. You're sure you're right and there's no sense in arguing the point. The concept of give and take does not figure into your tactics if they get angry, you'll get angrier. If they start to yell, you scream. This doesn't make you much fun to argue with, but at least it's very easy to tell where you stand on an issue. If you have chosen, I'd see if there was anybody around with an umbrella I could share or a store where I could buy one personality revealed you don't like conflicts and confrontation so you try to smooth things over and calm the other person down whenever a fight breaks out unfortunately sometimes uh, that only makes things worse it may be important for you to make a stand and weather the storm every once 
in a while. If you have chosen, I always have a folding umbrella in my bag when I go out, so I just use that. Personality rebuild. You think you have an answer for every accusation, a justification for every fault? To you, an argument may be just a chance to hone your skills at debate. But to others, you seem slippery, frustrating, and insincere. But of course, you probably have a good explanation for that too. And there you go. Are you surprised at how accurate the answers reflect your personality? Or do you disagree with the interpretation of this quiz answer? Don't forget to make your comment and make yourself heard until our next Cocology session. Time check. You are watching Midnight Habit with Robert. With Robert. With Robert. At sa atin namang pampa, good vibes mula sa FB page ni St. Peter Anywhere from St. Peter Memes. Ito na. Okay. Ang sabi ni St. Peter Memes. St. Peter, itag mo lang susunduin ko. And let's read from the comments from... Edison Bilyas Ha 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 May shipping fee po ba? And from Nicole de Ocampo Ehar Pakisundu po Issue Palagi na lang po kasing bro Di na nabuo At Sino pa ba? Ah, from Diane Rabang Ang sarap itag ng tropa mong user, backstabber at scammer Good luck na lang sa karma Ulanin ka sana ng blessing Jane Matinao, diba? And there you go mga KMH Kayo ba ay mayroong nalalamang mga St. Peter memes Or witty comments about St. Peter I-post nyo na yan sa ating FB page www.facebook.com slash stpeteranywhereph or mag-comment lang sa video na ito gamit ang hashtag na stpeteranywhere at i-share ang good vibes dito sa ating St. Peter Memes Pampa Good Vibes Time Check! You are watching Midnight Habit with Robert With Robert, with Robert. For more videos about Lifeline and other episodes of Midnight Habit, check out our official YouTube channel and Facebook page shown on your screen. Or you may visit the links within the description up above or down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep you updated. Click share to spread the good vibes of life. And if you're thinking about Getting a life plan and wondering which one to choose will provide you with the best options so you can always stay in control. Our numbers are flashing on your screen. Make your move to book an appointment today. Time check. You are watching Midnight Habit with Robert. With Robert. With Robert. Kung ikaw ay may St. Peter life plan na, dapat alam mo to. Kung ikaw ay nag-avail ng life plan nung ikaw ay between 18 to 59 years old pa lamang, ang plan na nakuha mo ay may pre-insurance. This means your plan includes the following. Ito yung isa. Cash assistance equivalent to full contract plan price. From year 1 to year 10 ng inyong plan. Meron ding accidental debt and dismemberment na insurance coverage from year 1 to full payment 
54 until 55 years old kung ano yung mauna. But like other insurances, this is subject to contestability period of one calendar year. Anong ibig sabihin? Dapat si plan holder ay wag muna mamatay sa loob ng isang taon pagkabili niya ng plan. Kasi pag namatay agad siya during this paying period, the added benefits may not be in effect. More of this at iba pang mga bagay-bagay na dapat alam mo kung ikaw ay may St. Peter Life Plan. Kaya tutok lang sa susunod na segment ng Dapat Alam Mo To. Time check! You are watching Midnight Habit with Robert. With Robert. With Robert. Hoping we have made your midnight worth one, mga ka-MH. Shoutout din dyan sa mga may pinagdadaanan sa buhay, sa mga may hinanakit hanggang ngayon sa kanilang mga magulang. Consider our times right now na wala ang kasiguraduhan kung makakapagkita pa kayo bukas o sa makalawa. Siguro ito na yung panahon to live your best life. Don't be afraid to take action. Patawarin mo na sila. Palitan mo yung puot, yung pait na nararamdaman mo ng pagmamahal. Pwede yon kahit pa sabihin mo na yung parents mo yung pinakamasamang parents sa buong universe. Palitan mo yung hinanakit mo sa kanila ng paggalang. Kung naniniwala ka sa Diyos, sabi niya, yung paggalang sa magulang may kalakip na pangako. Lalaon ang iyong buhay. Just believe in God, believe His words. He can change you and how you feel. Keep an open communication with Him. Make your request known to Him. Keep your trust in Him because He knows best. Remember that there are always positive ways to handle any negative situation. Just place your trust in Him. And if you need biblical and scientific insights on matter about paano mawawala ang hinanakit sa magulang and ways on how to deal with it, check this out. Kasangkapan sila ng Diyos para sa atin. Magagalit sa iyo ang Diyos pag hindi ka marunong kumilala ng utang na loob sa magulang. episode is available by a brother Ellie channel on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Time check! You are watching Midnight Habit with Robert. With Robert. With Robert. We are a few minutes away from midnight and thank you for staying alive with me as late as this. If you enjoyed the episode, Please check out our other video about life is too short to be afraid to take action. I have been your host, Robert Rubio, helping you discover more about yourself and your life plan. Until next time, God willing, good night.